The times, they are a-changing. For proof, take this image from Janine Senator, part of nature's once-a-year work of art. Carol Sizdek in Barnesville offers good advice with this autumn image. Looking up pays dividends, she wrote. I'd imagine the critters of the world know what's happening. One that Dave caught here at Lackawanna State Park likely knows it's raining. A cold, foggy morning it is. John Tucker sent us the next autumn offering, Frost at the Pond and How Long Before Ice. The Last Breath of Summer, the title of this image from Becky Latona in Kresgeville. I think we all agree. In the mood for a bit of autumn fun, Barb Singley sent us a checkerboard sky. Checkers, anyone? We look forward to the colors autumn presents, the scenes it allows us to create. October sunrise here from Julie Leffler. Small scenes like this one from Eileen Chorba of Beach Lake. Big, exciting scenes like the one Ed Persley caught in Lewisburg. They are scenes that say, take my picture, take me home, and frame me. That's the beauty of fall, as here from Linda Fitzpatrick. We sort of wander along with autumn. Our past takes us past more scenes than we can count. April Reppert and Jim Thorpe caught this one at Penn's Peak. Even in the dead of night, there are images to be had. 3 a.m. view here from Danielle Lamb. And if our luck holds, we see something rare. Aurora Borealis with Jessup spread out before it from Nicholas Grunza in Jessup. A sight worth seeing, to be sure. Hope to see you next time in the Filterlink Library. I'm Mike Stevens.